So then guys, as you may have heard, Apple are looking to make a new budget MacBook coming out super soon. And this could also be known as the likes of the MacBook SE or the MacBook Mini. Personally, I think MacBook Mini is a well more suited name, but let's see what happens in the very near future with naming. But the good news is with this new MacBook that is on its way, it's gonna be a real budget one, at least in Apple's eyes. And today I want to go over all the details that we know about for this next generation budget MacBook that is looking likely it could still come out before the end of 2025 but personally I think it's going to probably come out in 2026 but let's today go over all the details about this. And with that, let's talk about probably the biggest change with this MacBook to the other MacBooks out there, and that's all to do with the chip, what is driving it. Now, the actual chip, what we've been told in leaks and rumors is it's gonna be an A chip. Now, what I mean by this, the A chips, remember, are the same chips that we have in the likes of, say, the iPhone series, also the likes of the standard iPad, and also the likes of the iPad mini. They have an A chip in them. We have the M chip, remember, in the likes of the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pros, some of the higher sort of tier kind of iPads out there, but that is not going to be going in the slide, the likes of this MacBook. Now, one of the things that I would say about having the chip is that the chip itself is probably not going to be the latest and greatest one. It's not going to be probably an A19 Pro or even an A19. We've been told it's most likely going to be an A18 or the A18 Pro out there. And the main reason why it's going to be the last year's kind of chip is obviously because it's budget. Do remember the likes of say the normal iPad out there, the budget one of that, that has a chip from a few generations ago. The likes of also say the iPad Air, it doesn't have the latest M chip in it. And it looks like this is the same kind of direction that Apple are gonna be doing with this new budget MacBook. It will not probably have the latest chip inside of it. It'll probably have a chip from a generation or two ago. But it looks like it's most likely gonna be the A18 or the A18 Pro. Now, before you go, well, that's rubbish that's probably the worst chip you can put inside of this. Well, I'm gonna to beg to differ, especially who this MacBook is designed for. Do remember the likes of the A18 and the A18 Pro in CPU performance, in single core, it's even faster than the likes of the M1 and the M2 chip out there. And that is just for single core performance. And then for multi-core performance, the likes of the A18 and the A18 Pro, they're almost on par with the M1 chip out there. So the standard M1, and remember, that was built on an eight core CPU. So we were talking of four efficiency cores and four performance cores. The A18 Pro and the A18, well, that actually has four efficiency cores, but just two performance cores inside of it. And yeah, it can match almost identical kind of performance with that. So this is something to keep an eye on, that obviously we're gonna get that ability. And a lot of you guys out there who have, say, an M1 kind of a MacBook Pro out there or MacBook Air, you guys are not complaining that it's stupidly slow. And this is probably what's gonna happen with the likes of this new MacBook. It's going to have a chip like that in there and for single core kind of performance it's going to be still really great. Remember this MacBook is designed not really for people who are going to do full-on Final Cut Pro with importing you know 8k video into it it's also not going to be designed fully for people running say llms on it it's also not going to be designed for people with logic pro this is the type of macbook that you would have around the house for your kids for education purposes it would also be taken off to college or university for just standard word processing browsing the web importing your family photos doing things like you know the magic eraser in the photo app it's not designed to be a full-on powerhouse it's a MacBook for basic kind of use. So with the A18 Pro, A18 inside of it, I think this is going to be onto a winner here with this. But then the second thing that you probably also want to know is what about the design of this new MacBook? What are we probably going to get there? Well, I think it's personally going to be one of two designs that we could be getting. The first design it could be is what I have right here in front of me. This is an old design that Apple used to have. This is the standard MacBook that was introduced back in 2015 and also got a update in 2017. Now, this MacBook did not have the best history. The main reason why behind it, it was actually one of 
Intel's sort of efficiency chips got put inside of it and it wasn't that efficient. It ran super hot. The other thing as well, it came along with a butterfly keyboard, what was also a disaster out there. And also the hinge technology on the screen was also plagued with problems. So Apple completely scrapped the design of this, or they completely scrapped the idea of this MacBook altogether just after two generations. But personally, what I think that Apple could do is re-bring back this generation, put in say the new Magic Keyboard will exist right now into this MacBook. And then also I'm sure they could fix out the likes of say the hinge with this too. And also for heat issues, well, as we know right now, the likes of the A18 Pro and the IF A18, they live in an iPhone. We don't need a fan or anything like that. So this shouldn't be a problem too. The other great thing about having that A18 in this design is also the batteries inside of this. It means that probably this new MacBook would probably have one of the best battery lives out there running with the A18 or 18 Pro and also the battery inside of this machine. Now, one thing I would say is a little bit of a downer with this design is that you only get one USB-C port on the actual side of this. So this obviously would just be for charging and it probably also mean it would just be the one that if you wanted to transfer data off, you'd have to have some charge inside of your actual MacBook or connect up a hub for it. But if Apple don't decide to go along with this design, the next design they're probably going to pick is probably the older MacBook Air design. I'm talking about the design that was first introduced back in 2018 for a few generations with Intel chips inside it, but then the likes of the M1 MacBook Air also had this design too. So this was before the M2 one with MagSafe and things like this. This design could also come back with this chip inside of it. And you can imagine again, having that inside of that kind of MacBook, it's really gonna help out with battery life. It's gonna be absolutely superb. You'd also get two USB-C ports on the side. You wouldn't get MagSafe, but yeah, this I'm sure would probably help out a fair bit there. But with that though, what is probably gonna most likely happen though is that you're probably not going to get a notch in the screen or anything like that and you'd also have the choice of either we're going to get say a 12 and a half inch display like we've got with this macbook or we'd be going back to the likes of a 13.3 inch display with that old macbook air design out there so then guys, just quickly, I want to tell you about the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. That's right, I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber on this channel in mid-January 2026 an iPhone 17 Pro Max. And the best thing is that any subscriber out there can enter into this giveaway. All you have to do is just two simple things with this. And I'll tell you about that in just a second because let me tell you about this iPhone 17 Pro Max. It is the baseline one with the 256 gigabytes of storage, but more importantly, it does actually have a physical SIM card slot because I know a lot of you guys out there in some countries don't allow to have eSIMs yet. So I've made it actually compatible to work with any country out there because this is an international giveaway. But to enter in, like I said, the first thing you need to do is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to still get at the end of 2025 or even early 2026. Maybe it's gonna be a new iPhone. Maybe it's gonna be a new Apple TV, a new MacBook or something else completely different. Maybe nothing to do with Apple whatsoever. It could be a Nintendo Switch 2, for example. Well, whatever it is, let me know in the comments comments below right now. Now the second part of this giveaway is going to be happening around about mid-January time where I'll be making a video giving you even more details about the giveaway including a form to fill in and most importantly too when I'm going to be doing the live stream to give away this iPhone 17 Pro Max. So the best thing that you can do right now is to make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that video. Plus you also want to be a subscriber too because like I said I'm giving this away to one like subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, tend to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people. Best you see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this then, what about the release date and the price then for this new MacBook Air? Well, we've been told in leaks and rumors that it's gonna potentially coming out before the end of 2025 or it's gonna come out in 2026. 
Personally, I think it's going to come out in 2026 now because, you know, we've had loads of new updates just come out. We have had the likes of, say, a new MacBook come out just recently with the M5 chip and then the M5 chip just been introduced. I can't really see Apple introducing another MacBook so quickly afterwards. It just doesn't make sense in kind of Apple's eyes to do that. It's not the Apple way, as it were, to bring out another new MacBook straight away. So I think what's going to happen is it's probably going to come out in 2000. 2026 like leaks and rumors have said that it's going to come out it is probably going to run the likes of mac os and things like this but it's probably going to be coming out probably around about springtime do remember that we've been targeted that we've been told that the new likes of the macbook airs are going to be coming out in springtime and it could come alongside that so this would make a lot of sense to bring out this budget new macbook around that time what would be really exciting to see so that is only a few months away so that is really good news but then the next big question you guys are going to be asking is what about the price then for this new macbook do remember that you can even pick up the likes of say a macbook air at best buy or amazon for 799 us dollars and that has the likes of an m4 chip inside of it it's really good value what you're getting with that so based on this and also the likes of say the ipad air out there with the 11 inch that you can pick this up for 599 us dollars it would make sense i'd probably say that apple probably targeting the similar kind of price of 599 us dollars and a maximum of 699 US dollars. Because like I said, otherwise, you might as well just go and buy yourself a MacBook Air for $100 more there. So I personally think it'll probably be more like 599 US dollars because it does have just a standard A chip inside of it, whereas the iPad Air has the likes of the M chip inside of it, even though it's a previous generation. And also you get a touch screen and things like this, but obviously with this one, you get a keyboard. You get what I mean, weigh it up, swings and roundabouts. It's probably gonna be very similar kind of pricing to that. What I am going to say is don't expect things like a ProMotion display or anything like that. It's going to be bog standard parts inside of its iPad. But that is probably going to be the kind of target price for this next generation of this MacBook Mini or MacBook Air, small MacBook SE, whatever it's going to be called when it does come out. But on that then guys, are you excited for this new MacBook? And do you see the reasons why it should exist? Let me know in the comments below. And also if you have enjoyed watching this video too, please also make sure that you press the like button. Also if you wanna hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye bye.